Is it me, or have we been walking for hours and hours? It's not just you. We've been walking for hours. Munchlax seems to like the sun now. It's been running around all day. Big guppy, big Pikachu. Why don't we take a break now? We can eat, and Pikachu and Munchlax can rest a little. Look, it's probably nice and cool under that tree. Come on. Stay here where you're out of the sun. Get some rest. You'll need it. We still have a long way to go. Big. Gotcha. What's for lunch? Okay. First, we have some of Brock's famous sandwiches. Uh, why are they famous? Because I made them. Okay. What else? Iced tea and some cupcakes. How's that? Sounds perfect. Let's eat. That was delicious. I'm gonna go check on Pikachu and Munchlax. They're gone. Where did they go? I don't know, but we better find out. Pikachu, Munchlax. Let's start walking. Pikachu, Pikachu! Munchlax, Pikachu! Munchlax, Munchlax. Where are you? Come out. I have cupcakes. Pika, Pikachu. There they are. Where were you? I told you to stay there. Why'd you leave? Pika, 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 Chill. You were sleeping. Pika, Pika, Pika. And then suddenly it got really Pika, hot. Pika, Pika, Pika. There was a lot of sun. You got up and moved. But we left you under a tree with lots of shade. What happened? Pika, Pika. Let's go back and see what happened to the tree. They were right. The shade is gone. How did that happen? That's so weird. Should we ask Ciara if she knows why that would happen? Yeah, good idea. Hey there! Wow, look at that sun. I bet it must be hot there. It is. That's why shade is important. But shadows can't help keep us cool if they move. Oh, your shade disappeared. But how? Shadows are made when an object gets in front of a source of light. The tree was the object, and the sun was the source of light. A shadow moves when either the object moves or the light moves. In this case, the tree moved. What? The tree moved? Are you sure the sun didn't move? Absolutely. Let me explain how things work here on Earth in our solar system. Earth follows an orbit or a path around the sun. The sun never moves. Anyway, as the Earth travels around the sun, it too is rotating or spinning. Spinning. It's probably like that here too. So how does everything stay in place? Two reasons. First, gravity pulls everything down to the Earth's surface, so that everything rides with the Earth. Second, it's a smooth ride with no bumps in the road. The Earth moves so fast at a steady rate that you can't notice it's moving. That must be fast. Big God, you! About one thousand forty miles per hour. It takes the Earth twenty-four hours to make one complete turn. During that time, each part of the Earth goes through day, then night. Parts of the Earth that face the sun have daylight. At the same time, the other parts of the Earth that are turned away from the sun are having night. How does that work? See the shadow under that tree? Go stand at the edge of it so that your back is in the shadow and your front is in the sun. Okay. So your face is warm from the sun and your back is cool in the shade, right? Uh huh. So to speak, the front of you is feeling day and the back of you is feeling night. Now make a half turn. Got it. Now your back is in daytime and your front is in the nighttime. I get it. For every place that is having daytime, some place on the other side is having night. Exactly. The Earth moves through a whole cycle during that 24 hours. As an area rotates towards the sun, we have what we call sunrise. The sun isn't actually rising; it's just that that part of the Earth is moving into place to face the sun. As that area keeps rotating, it gets the full direct force of the sun's rays. That's what noon is like. But the Earth keeps moving, and that part of the Earth begins to turn away from the sun. That's sunset. Once it moves fully away from the sun, it's night. So all the shadows here are moving as the planet turns away from the sun. Exactly. Hold on a second. I 
had to go close a window. It was getting kind of chilly here in the lab. Brr. Cold? It's hot here. Oh, that's another part of rotating life here on Earth. Picture this. An imaginary rod runs through the Earth from the top to the bottom. The imaginary rod is called the Earth's axis. So when we say the Earth is rotating, it is rotating around the axis. But, get this, the axis doesn't run straight through the Earth. If it did, each half of the Earth would get 12 hours of sun every day. Instead, though, it actually is tilted at an angle. That means that as the Earth travels around the sun, some parts get more hours of sun than other parts at the same time. The parts that face the sun will have more hours of direct sunlight and therefore get really warm. That's called summer. Meanwhile, the other side of the Earth gets fewer hours of sun. And since they are tilted away from the direct rays of sun, even the days aren't that warm. That's winter, and it's cold. I'm glad it's not that cold here. Unless you're in the shade. Hey, let's take a look at the Earth and its rotation. Look at the three pictures of the Earth and sun. Click on the one that shows why there is day and night. Awesome! As the Earth orbits the Sun, the rotating action makes sure that parts of the Earth get Sun every 24 hours. The Earth has an axis that it spins around. Click on the picture that shows the Earth with the right axis. Great job! The Earth's axis is tilted, so the Earth has different seasons. The tilt means that at different times, some parts of the Earth get more hours of direct sun than others, creating summer. Others get less hours of direct sun, causing winter. Click on the part of the Earth where it's day. That's it! The part of the Earth that's facing the sun is experiencing daytime. Click on the part of the Earth where it's night. Absolutely! That part of the Earth is facing away from the sun and is getting no light. Oh, I get it! It's all about the axis and rotation. In that case, let's really get into day and night. Alright, look at the picture of the Earth. Click and drag a line through the Earth to show its axis. Awesome! Look at the diagram of the Sun and the Earth. Watch the Earth travel around its orbit. Click and drag the picture of Ciara onto the part of the Earth where it's daytime. Awesome! Now, click on the part of the Earth that gets the least amount of the Sun's direct rays. Brrr, must be winter there. Awesome. Let's get moving again. Click and drag Ciara onto the part of the Earth where it's night. Awesome. Look at the arrow on top of the axis. It shows the direction of the Earth's rotation. Now, click on the part of the Earth where the sun is setting. You got it! Let's get moving again. Click and drag Ciara onto the part of the Earth where the days are longest. You got it! Click on a place on the Earth where the sun is rising. You got it! Cool! Now I get why the shadows keep moving. It's because everything in front of the sun is... My leg! Oh, you're right. You two haven't eaten anything yet. Let's go. Oh, no! What is it? Uh... I guess we rotated right into the direct path of the sun. The iced tea isn't icy anymore. And the cupcakes are... well... <laughs> oh, I'm sure they still taste fine. Right. Monkey, monkey, monkey. I hope so. Come on, 
Let's rotate out of the sun and find some shade before everything melts completely. Bigger, you bigger! Look! <laughs> nice try, but you'll need to move pretty fast if you're trying to keep up with the planet's rotation. Bigger! Remember, the Earth has to move in a way that makes sure parts of the Earth get sun every 24 hours. The Earth's orbit around the sun takes 365 days. Try again. Try again. Remember, the way the axis runs through the Earth means some parts of the Earth get more direct sun for longer times. Try again. Remember, day comes to places where the Earth is facing the sun. Try again. Remember, night comes to the parts where the Earth is turned away from the sun. Try again. Try again. Try again. All right. Look at the picture of the Earth. Click and drag a line through the Earth to show its axis.